top tenancy tips. We've covered a little bit of this today. And like I say, um, I, my, th what I've recently learned is much more important to be selective. Thank you. Oh, this is going fast. I hope there's loads of questions. Um, <laughs> what I would s I'm going to talk much more slowly now. My <laughs> it's more important to find the right tenant than to chase the uh, bad tenant for debt afterwards. OK, so when I was doing my own tenant fines, which I've recently taken back myself, I would only ever do block viewings. I'd get a 50% no-show rate. Ten people would call, five would turn up. I got sick of it driving from Cardiff to Newport. So what I, you know, it's, it's probably a half-hour drive. So what I do now is I say I'm going to be there at um, 6 o'clock Thursday evening and 10 o'clock Saturday morning. Which of those work best for you? Get them all to turn up together. And you know what? If you're in a hot market, I know it's evil, but you might start a slow-motion bidding war on rent. You might. You might not. You might annoy everyone and they never turns up again. So just test that for yourself. Um, I always do referencing plus plus when I was doing it, which I've, like I said, recently taken back, which means I will say to them, OK, what I want to do is talk you through the contracts. I'll bring them over your home. Am I really talking them through my contracts? No, I'm looking. Do they take their shoes off when they go in? Do they smoke? Do they have pets? You know, because they all say no pets, non-smokers, right? And then you go in the house, there's like three bulldogs and like loads of fags everywhere. <laughs> so I, I do what I call referencing plus plus. I take car registration numbers. I take social security numbers. Um, I've had a number of tenants which I've not been able to trace. Uh, but those are tenants found to me by other agents where my own systems I didn't apply. My bad. Um, Take an admin fee. We've discussed that today. Don't let it kill the deal, though. In Wales, I can't see up in the valleys, in Blyna Gwent, charging £300 admin fee. I can't see that. Somebody try it. Let me know how you get along. But um, don't let it kill the deal. Take an admin fee. But if, if nobody takes the room, better to rent it, get it full, uh, than to try to get greedy up front. I always take a real money deposit. If you work in the housing benefit sector, which I do work in some of those sectors, um, I would, you'll get phone calls from the council saying, oh, we're going to pay you a paper bond. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. The truth is, I like real cash. Every time I've taken real cash, the tenant has got skin in the game to lose. If they've got no skin in the game, I've found them to be less careful about my property. If you can, use guarantors, uh, which is a UK homeowner that is willing to underwrite that tenancy agreement to say if the tenant doesn't pay the rent, smashes it up, outstays their welcome, Mummy or daddy generally will pay for um, you know, the, the, the damage, the missed rent, the costs. I have never had, no, I lie, I've had my first guarantor tenancy go bad. But in 15 years, I, I'd, up until about three months ago, I used to say I've never had a guarantor contract go bad. I have got one because the guarantor's lost his job as it happens. Um, and he wasn't a UK homeowner, so systematic failure there. Um, LHA. If, uh, this is housing benefit, of course. Um, the uh, recent, well, last five, six years change was they were pay, the council started to pay the tenants who then had to pay the landlords the rent. Um, and when that happened, some tenants, most tenants, started to buy nicer mobile phones, more channels on the Sky TV, etc. cetera. Um, and uh, stop paying so much rent, basically. So there is a way to get the tenant, the, the housing benefit paid to the landlord direct from day one. It is possible to do that. That's changed now, hasn't it? Yeah, to be honest, I, I no longer have housing benefit tenants. So if it's changed, I would definitely take your advice on that. Yeah, they'll pay you direct as long as they are yeah. or they've got a So, so is, is that all? Because I get them to write a letter to say, I can't manage my own money. Please play the landlord direct. Well, because they, they can't find houses, yeah? So the councils have real trouble placing housing benefit tenants. So they are open to operating, but their hands are a bit tied. The, the, the housing benefit system itself is worse than the tenants. Does that make sense? The, it's, it's the system that lets people down. Because I've got some, I had some housing benefit tenants that, um, you know, you would, their house was better than a lot of my private tenants. But the system is quite difficult to work with. It works weekly, not monthly. Um, it can get stopped for weird things. You know, if people don't sign this bit of paper or the council suspects their circumstances changes, then, um, you know, they can just stop the rent. And then it can take a month or two to get it back on.